Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and welcome to my weekly vault video. I've caught it just as the servers have come up here, so uh, everybody showing up at the vaults, logging in. We'll see what we've got here. First of all, we have my warrior. My warrior is on... Uh, I'm going to loot spec his arms. I've got three mythic raid spots and one plus 20 slot in the vault. So we'll see what is in store here. Best outcome? I don't even know. This character's kind of full build. Some mythic tier, mythic shoulders, mythic uh, helmet tier. Another option would be the Great Vault just failing to have any items or lagging out because the servers are... are in pain. That's another option. Okay, oh. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, wow. That is a big ring. That's a 431 Mythic Broodkeeper ring. Well, I don't think I'm going to get away from clicking this. That's so many item levels. And that fire damage proc. So the thing about the fire damage proc on Warrior, it's not especially easy to deal fire damage, but I can move one of my embellishments to... Uh, the belt, the fire damage crafted belt, and that will then be proccing this and giving me a, bo a boatload of HPS value as well, so I think I gotta take this ring. It's actually not that big of an upgrade, but I don't know, and mastery is not a particularly good stat defensively. I got haste verse rings right now with, with sockets. So I think short term this actually might not even go on my gear until I can put a socket in it, and definitely not until I can get that belt. But still, I'm not, I'm not passing on this ring. This thing is, uh, is uh, it's going to annoy my guild too much if I get that. So I'm just link that in guild real quick. Where is this? There slash G, shift click, log out, easy. Okay, next character here. This is a, uh, a Brewmaster Monk. Actually, I've done some stuff on as Windwalker on it. We actually did 2 out of 8 Mythic on alts this last week as well. So uh, I've got one Mythic Raid spot that could have Whispering Incarnate Icon at Mythic Eye level, something like that, uh, which not a, an especially exciting tank trinket, but oh, all well, my talents are gone. That's fine. But still one that I'd probably take at Mythic item level just in case I ever use this character for anything. Uh, and then I've got... I think two Mythic Plus spots, one at plus 20 and one at like plus 16. And then I got a couple of Heroic Raid spots as well. Okay, Mythic Decoration of Flame. This is a really, really solid tank trinket um, that I think I'm probably going to end up taking here. I've already got t Heroic Tier Gloves. I already got Heroic Tier Shoulders. I could take 421 shoulders and then catalyze them. That represents item levels on the shoulder. But I think I just want to go with this. On the other hand, you know, the decorations when they drop from the raid aren't going to be especially in high demand. Whereas high item level shoulders are going to be kind of hard to come by. You know, 421 shoulders. So you can get 424 from Broodkeeper. Where else do high... Oh, there's the Traveler's Log. That's cool. Where else do you get your high item level shoulders from the raid? Let's find out. So, shoulder spot. So there's Primal Council 415s, but there's actually not high item level shoulders from the raid besides literally getting the tier from Broodkeeper. So I'm kind of talking myself into just taking this 421 shoulders, slapping them in the, the catalyst, taking my item levels there. Because Decorations of Flame dropped from the first boss. We're going to kill that boss on this character every week. Pretty much. Yeah. This is a nice trinket. My trinkets are beans right now. Maybe I'll wait and, to, and not pick something out of here until we clear, you know, 2 out of 8 Mythic later today. That's probably the best option, because I don't think I'm going to encounter any difficulties doing that on this character. So, uh, yeah. All right. Good call. We delay. We delay that pick. Alright, DK. My DK, I snuck into a plus 20 keystone. I snuck most of my characters. So those first two characters we looked at, those characters were good. They were able to time 20s on their own merit. The remaining characters are not good. They time 20s off of other people's merit. But we take that, right? We, uh... 
That's what friends are for, tricking into doing keys with your 382. Unsocketed, unenchanted. Unholy DK. Uh, so loot spec unholy, I think is probably ideal here, because I don't really want an M plus tank trinket. And I don't really want one-handers, so I'm not going to go for frost. We'll see what we've got here. A ring. No hole, nothing like that, but still, this is a 50 itemable upgrade on the ring. Can't argue with that. Haste crit. But yeah, goodbye M0 ring. Hello, 421 ring. Little upgrade, not a big deal. Up next we have... Drat Moose. This character, I think, is probably responsible for the most grief over the past three weeks in M+. A couple weeks ago, I did a, a balance key on it with an agility staff. I I was It wasn't a case of, like, fighting for the tank, fighting with the tank for third place on the meters. It was a case of, like, fighting with the healer for fourth place on the meters. It was not good. Then I think last week I did, like, a feral key on it. This week I also did a feral on it, and I almost beat the tank, which, oh, wow, we are ramping. What you can't see in this damage meter is the uh, the key we hearthed out of before this one, due to uh, me, mostly. Okay, so loot spec. I think I will go feral loot spec, because I'd like a big agi weapon, and I don't really want any M plus tank trinkets all that much. So yeah, just the one spot here, I think, in this vault. A belt. A belt that is a nice item of upgrade, at least. There are, you know, we're starting to get to the point where there are some landmines in the in the old pool now, right? Like, if I get boots or helmet or something like that, I'm going to feel pretty unhappy. Belt isn't the biggest item level upgrade for me, but it is at least a solid item level upgrade. Uh, best best outcome would have been a chest, but surely I'll find a way to wrap this character into something where that drops a chest at some point this coming week. Okay. Paladin. My Paladin, I actually went to a Heroic Run on. I was going to go to a Heroic Run on my DH. But then there were like 15 people in that run on the Dreadful token and only like four people on the Venerated token. So I swapped over my Paladin to try and get more tier. Because I figured, you know, I'd, I'd have like triple the chance of uh, getting any tier that dropped relative to being on that Dreadful token. So a uh, little bit of a weird side effect of the way that the current loot system and stuff works, but... Loot spec here. I'm opening in prot loot spec because I already have a 402 two-hander. I actually already have a 402 one-hander as well that I yoinked from the raid, but I don't have a good shield. My shield is still 372, so I'd like to collect a good shield for the purposes of tanking content if I ever need to do that on this character. What do we got here? All right, so we've got a 411 indestructible uh, belt. A 402 shoulders. A socketed leech tier helmet. 421 bracers with avoidance. Or a uh, gift of radiance. Halls of Valor trinket. I think I should take this 411 socketed leech helmet. My helmet right now is quite bad. It is the Decay Mother's Wrathful Gaze. I believe that comes from Brackenhide Hollow. Although I'm not 100% sure. But that's just... That's my guess, based on the name. But yeah, I think I want to turn that into Socketed Leech Tear. So I will do that. Obviously with the Creation Catalyst out now, I could eventually catalyze something else, but this is the biggest item level upgrade of any of my pieces that are in the vault here. In theory, the Bracers are maybe a little bit better very long term, but I don't know, I don't think this character is trying to maximize so much for that. Like, this is going to make any actual content this, this thing does much easier. So we take that. We slam in uh, a thing there, and that's a pretty big upgrade there. That turns on two piece for me, which means if I do another raid run this week, I get one more piece of tier, and then I can catalyze the last one. Catalyze these gloves. And, uh, and we're all set. Okay. Last character. Illidrat. Now, this was the character that last week, several of you in the comments were like, oh, you should go and buy some 343s from the auction house because they will improve your character quite a bit. So I did that. I bought some uh, 343s from the auction house, spent about 10, 20K, geared the character up, and then uh, did some keys. I, I tricked a lot of friends into a lot of keys last week. And uh, as a result, this thing's all the way up to 374 now. Got a Lariat 
crafted. I've got a, a weapon crafted. I've actually got 7 out of 10 towards turning one of those things into a uh, 4... 418. So that's getting pretty close there. I'll do that probably pretty early this week. Still sitting on some stinkers, though. I've still got shoulders would be a big upgrade. Belt, chest piece, anything like that. A, a weapon would be really iconic. So uh, loot spec havoc. Yeah, I don't really want a tank trinket. So let's see what we got here. Boots, crit mastery, socketed belt, but only 415. And then a 405 ring. I did... Did some slightly lower keys on this character uh, to fill out the very or at the very start of the week. So I think so. The socketed belt is compelling. Sockets are nice, but I think I just want to go with the raw item level of these boots. I don't know. I mean, I guess this this belt is a bigger upgrade, and it comes with the socket. Ah, but long term, hmm. But long term, when are you going to find sockets on your belt, right? Like long, long term, after like 10 more weeks, I can eventually start buying sockets on this character. But this character is nowhere close to buying sockets. Yeah. D what does Shadow and Burial Grounds drop, actually? Hang on. Hold up. What does Shadow and Burial Grounds drop? Shadow and Burial Grounds. Loot. Mythic Plus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Belt of Burning Focus, Boots of Burning Focus. Okay. These two items are both Shadow and Burial Grounds drops. Ah, see, if only one of those came from Shadow and Burial Grounds, I would take the other one because this character is going to do a lot of Shadow and Burial Grounds. This is a this is a Shadow and Burial Grounds home character because that's the key where you can sneak your rats into. It's that and Court of Stars. Those are the key where you can sneak your rat into those keys and uh, not get called on it as much. Ah. Ah. The dilemma. I think I'm just going to take the... But the boots are the crit mastery. Those are my best stats. Are my best stats? I've heard. I haven't actually looked this up. This is what when I asked, I haven't even under my guild what stats are good. Uh, let me see. Ah, ah. Okay. Maybe I hold this decision and see if I get a good boots or belt from somewhere. I already. I guess I already have kind of good boots though, with like three ninety two upgradable. Kind of good. I can upgrade that. Is Valor uncapped yet? Let's go take a look. Valor is not uncapped, but it, it's kind of effectively uncapped. I, I've, I'm have i nowhere close to the cap. Oh, decisions, decisions. All right, well, I guess I'm, I'm paralyzed here. These two things seem so close to me. I don't know what's better. I wish I'd done 420s and then I could just take a 421 socketed belt. That would have been really good. I'll make a decision at some point, but I don't want to keep the video going for too long. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope your vaults were as bountiful as mine. Uh, I have put some guide content up on this channel over the last week. Some Razageth Mythic guide content and some Prot Warrior guide content. I will try and make some more guide content over the next few weeks as well. But I also am going to try and stream more. I didn't stream very much. I don't think I streamed at all last week. Uh, I'll try and make sure that I stream some of these rat keys as well, because they are pretty good content. I just... Uh, I didn't last week. I was putting off doing my laundry. I was putting off doing my laundry. And so, like, every day I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do my laundry today. And, I, you know, so I was planning, like, okay, I'll do my laundry and then I won't stream because my laundry machine is, like, right there. And so it, you, I can't really stream while it's going because it's really loud. Um, but then I kept not doing laundry. And then the next day would roll around and I had neither streamed nor done laundry. So, but now I've done my laundry. I've done my laundry. I haven't put it away yet. I've got it. You know, like, the hamper that you take the dirty clothes in and then you put that in the laundry thing i just took all my clean clothes and i put them back in the hamper and so at some point i need to put them away but right now they are clean anyways hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you in the next one bye